Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, 3D Math Series, Episode 24. We're going to be looking at general affine tra transformations and the perspective projection. Um, now that we have 4x4 matrices, we can create affine transformations, and now we can do a lot that we weren't able to do before. Uh, without passing through the origin, we can now scale about a plane, rotate about an axis, reflect about a plane, and do orthographic projection onto a plane. So a lot of new things that don't need to go through the origin anymore. So how do we do this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to translate away from the, uh, to the center of the origin, perform our linear transformations, and then translate back. So we have a matrix here, translation times the rotation or whatever transformation we want, and then the uh, inverse back. So we have three different uh, matrices here, and here's the shorthand version on the far right-hand side as per the previous episode. And you could see uh, we're just going to go translate, perform our transformation, translate back. And so this is what the overall uh, formula looks like. Uh, those R's would be the same as the M up here, if you excuse that. Um, so perspective projection. So recall in orthographic that when we project from 3D to 2D, uh, it, and the 2D projection is parallel, so the projector, because the projectors are parallel, so it's the same size, um, it's just in 2D. For perspective projection, the projectors are no longer parallel and they intersect at a center of projection. I'll show you what that means in a second. Um, if that center is in front of the plane, the projection will be reversed. And if the center is behind the plane, it will not be reversed. The further away it is from the plane, the perspective projection gets smaller. So here on the far right, we can see the orthographic projection where we have our cube here and it's getting projected onto this plane. And you can see that it's still the same uh, relative uh, in its two dimensions. With perspective, we have this new center of uh, projection right here that this all going towards. And obviously on the plane here, it gets smaller. So as the plane ends up being uh, further away and whatnot, you'll see that the perspective is smaller. So this is kind of similar to how the human eyes work, uh, slightly different because we have two, but um, in that things further away in the distance get smaller. So we need to compute a 4x4 four four matrix to, to do this, and so what we're going to do is we're going to compute P prime. P is a, a point, um, and then P prime is the new point to determine what that uh, size will be, I guess not size, but the location. And, and we need a common denominator. We're going to assume that W is 1. And D is the distance from the plane to the center of projection. So we have point X, Y, and Z normally here. And then so P prime is going to be change of X over Z, change of Y over Z, and then the D. We're going to ch convert the D to be ZZ over Z. So that way we can derive at this formula down here and have this ZD as a common denominator across the way. So we can put this into a, our W uh, for a 4x4. Four four. So we have X, Y, Z, and then Z over D. And now we need to come up with a matrix that converts the homogeneous vector X, Y, Z, 1 into the form above right here, X, Y, Z with Z over D. And that's what this matrix right here is. So it looks like an identity matrix except for the last row. And of course, the last column is just the 1 over D. And that would be the formula you need to have a projection matrix for projecting onto the plane of z is equal to d. Now, there's a few issues with this, but we'll just go over some notes real quick. So this doesn't actually perform that tr uh, perspective transform. It just computes the denominator w. In order to compute the transform, you still have to divide all of the variables by that w. Uh, there's different variations of this. We can change the plane of projection to z equals 0 and the center of projection at 0, 0, negative d and it'll have a different, slightly different equation. So don't note that this is not the only equation that you need to use. Um, why not just divide by z? This allows us to express uh, the projection as a transformation, so we can combine it with other transformations. And it allows us to use non-axially aligned planes, so it doesn't have to be on the axis. Uh, note that this isn't what you would necessarily use in real graphics pipelines, because if we're going to be discarding the z value, uh, in this instance, and a lot of times you're going to want to keep the z-value for things like z-buffering. So that's it for this episode. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and give me a subscription, give me a like, share this on social media if you will, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for our newsletter. Have a great one. Thanks.